In this instruction video, we will further discuss manipulation. Manipulation is a key ingredient of a randomized experiment. Manipulation generally refers to control over the independent variable. In an experiment, manipulation implies that the level of the independent variable that a participant experiences is determined by the researcher. Let's start with the independent variable x. Suppose we hypothesized that playing violent video games increases aggression in children. In order to test this hypothesis, we could manipulate the independent variable, playing violent video games, by letting children play violent video games for either two hours, four hours, or not at all. In this example, we have created three levels of the independent variable. The term level indicates that the independent variable is present in different ways or amounts. Other frequently used terms are conditions or groups. In the third group, the independent variable is absent. That's why this level is also called the control condition or the control group. Variables that can be manipulated or fully controlled by the researcher are also referred to as experimental variables. But not all variables can be manipulated. Variables that cannot be manipulated or fully controlled by the researcher are referred to as individual difference variables. These variables are an intrinsic property of the participant and not under the researcher's control. Think of variables as age or gender, for example. We cannot send participants to a gender clinic and ask them to undergo a gender change so that we can investigate the effect of gender. Some variables might seem non-manipulable, but can actually be manipulated. Take, for example, the variable self-esteem. We could manipulate this variable by giving participants an intelligence test. In one condition, the participants are told that their score was extremely high, and thereby boosting their self-esteem. In the other condition, the participants are told that their score was very low, and thereby lowering their self-esteem. Now we can investigate the effect of high or low self-esteem on a math test, for example. It is important to keep in mind that manipulation can also fail. It could be that the intelligence test was very easy for the participants in the second group, and therefore they did not believe that their score was very low, and their self-esteem is not influenced at all. In fact, researchers quite often try to measure whether their manipulation was successful, if the intended level of the independent variable was actually experienced. This is called a manipulation check. Let's move on to the variables of disinterest. In the ideal case of an experiment, each condition is entirely identical to the others except for the independent variable. Suppose all other variables are kept constant. They are the same for each condition. And only the independent variable differs between conditions. If we then find an effect, we can assume that this difference is caused by the independent variable. In physics, it's relatively easy to keep all other variables equal. But in social science, it is much harder. It is impossible to control all other variables. Not only are there a lot more variables that could provide an alternative explanation, it is also much harder to keep these variables under control. Variables that are held constant in an experiment are referred to as control variables. In our example about playing video games, we could make sure that the color on the walls is the same for each condition. We would not want the walls of the control group to be calming blue and the walls of the experimental group to be agitating red. So to summarize, manipulation is about creating different levels of the independent variable. 
by doing a manipulation check, the effectiveness of the manipulation can be assessed. And an individual difference variable is a variable that cannot be manipulated.